This is Gene Key, KDDD News. Amarillo.com reports two women suffered minor injuries after they escaped from a house fire Wednesday morning. Fire officials said four people were inside the home in Cadito Drive when the fire started. About 18 firefighters responded and had the fire under control in about 20 minutes. One female was treated for smoke inhalation at the scene and another female was taken to the hospital after she fell as she came out of the house. Fire officials said they don't know where the fire started or what caused it but believe it was accidental. NewsChannel10.com reports an Amarillo man is sentenced to 10 years in prison for possessing child pornography. The U.S. Attorney General's office says 44-year-old Todd Wayne Ellis was sentenced in federal court Tuesday in Amarillo. He was caught hosting and downloading images of child pornography using peer-to-peer file-sharing software. Ellis entered a guilty plea to these charges in September of 2011. This case was worked in conjunction with Project Safe Childhood, which is a federal program to help end sexual exploitation and abuse of children. Amarillo.com reports the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department announced Wednesday it's ready to sell part of Fortress Cliffs Ranch, which overlooks Paladuro Canyon State Park. The agency would keep roughly 850 acres of the 2,912 acre ranch. The purchase and subsequent sale are structured to keep development away from the rim of the canyon and out of view. The department will integrate the rest of the acreage into Paladuro Canyon State Park. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.